Hello right, guys, welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we took on the Gym Leader Bugsy and also Silver. In this episode, we're in the Ilex Folix, or Elex Folix. 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 Yeah. But, uh, we have a Zyduck in the way. This is very bad. Anyway, I believe at night you can find Zyducks in this place. Maybe it's both, I don't know. We don't have a water type yet, and we want a water type that can link confusion. Zyduck is your man. Oh no, my box is gonna be steaming! The far fish that cuts trees with charcoal took off on me. And I can't go looking for it in the Atlantic forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. I don't know why you're having that voice. It's so close to the mic, that's probably gonna be ear wrenching. Anyway, Farfetch is right here. What kind of Farfetch are you finding it this quick, huh? Anyway, it's the missing Pokemon, Farfetch. <laughs> So we have to follow a Firefetch here. Yeah, we have to actually trap it so it goes back to its trainer. Oh no, it's trainer. Boss's assistance. This is boss's. The boss of the person we're trying to help. Y you get the drill. Anyway, just follow my step by steps, and you should be able to easily get Firefetch to go where you want to go in the Pokemon Bell. Now, if you got any. Ooh, a Venonat. Okay, Venonat. Bug and Psychic, I believe? Or just. Wait, it's, I think it's bug poison type. Uh, hmm. It also knows confusion. I kind of want it. Hmm. Nah. I've already set up my team pretty much. I don't have. I have a room for one more, but still, it's not the best idea to go for that bug one. So if we just keep trapping it off here, there's only one way you can be able to go. So I believe if you go up here, he won't go to the right, he'll go down. Okay, Oddish. Worst looking sprite ever. This is Oddish sitting down. It's terrible. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I believe if you go down, you should be fine here. Yes, it will go down instead of going to the other way. Now, don't be an idiot and go above it here, because then you'll just chase it back. You want to come from the back side of the Farfetch'd. Anyway, there's an item back there, but I don't think it's anything too worth mentioning. Probably like a super potion or something. So we don't need to get it. Anyway, run into a tree and I'll go back. Symbolizing that the script has finally completed its status and you finished it. Hey, we talk to this guy again. Well, thanks a bunch. My boss is... My boss is... My boss is Pokemon won't pay me. Because I uh, don't have a badge and I can suck. Ah, oh, five fetched! You found it for us, kid. Wow, Tits, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for chuckle. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here's this. You learned how to cut down trees. Let's cut HM, same as the original Pokemon, or cut down small trees. Of course, you have to have the jam badge, which we already have. And you also need to pretty much have a Pokemon that can use the move itself. Just like Flash. I haven't shown off Flash, but yeah. So, due to elimination, Pox is the only one on our team who can learn this move right now. There was a move deleted in this game, so that's, I think, so that's good. So we'll get real Scratch and Scratch. Cuts a powerful version of Scratch. And with that, we can now progress. There was an event that involved the shrine here, but right now it doesn't, it's not important at all. Maybe I'll get a, like, a Game Shark thing to show you that event, but maybe that won't. Okay, we got Pokemon here. The Pokemon is another event. Maybe I should speed up a bit. Yeah, I think I'll just speed up a little bit through this forest because it's just gotta be walking from now on. Uh, there's an X attack there. No, Oddish. Repel would be nice, but I don't want to use it right now. Because you could run into a shiny Pokemon, you never know. Anyway, if you go down this way, you'll see a green haired trainer next to a tray. Uh, yeah, yeah, tree. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutts. It's fun! Yeah! Try it too. This guy needs. This guy has problems. He hits his head against trees all day. Rattle trees with headbutts sometimes. Sleeping Pokemon fall out. I believe we can keep coming back to this guy and keep leaving headbutt. Or maybe he can only once. Either way, you want to have a, uh, 
a Pokemon that you want to have to keep because it can get you a lot of Pokemon out of tree areas like that. Um, what I recommend, it also does flinching sometimes, like bite, so if you have a Pokemon that you might benefit, um, might benefit you might want to give it to that Pokemon. Maybe this, this guy's here as a trainer, just thought you know, I think we'll send Kodo eye on him. Now he uses, what's the Pokemon name? Lidiba. Lidiba. Okay, we'll see his bite here. Super uh, Okay, every bug Pokemon is Super Sonic, you know that, I guess? Oh, I don't want to go against Paris, that's not good. I want a Pokemon that has strong power against Paris. don't want bloody Kodo going against him. Eh, yeah, well, it seems to doing okay. There we go. Now, besides it being powerless, I don't think I'll be able to use it for a while. Just because of that. Once I have something that can heal it. Some berries can heal, but that's not in this game at all, so disregard what I just said. If he talks to his trainee here... Oh honey, you're making a Pokedex. It must be hard if Pokemon wanted to pee your trainee this TM. She will give you TM12, which is Sweet Scent. A move that attracts Pokemon. So if you're on the grass and you use this move, Pokemon will just automatically appear. Good for if you don't want to walk around, I guess, but yeah, besides, it's not really that useful. Oh, this trainer. This is where I do my training. Now, he'll have an interesting Pokemon. A Pokemon not many, I don't think any other trainer in the whole Pokemon series has, besides Pokemon same games and consoles. He'll have a Radita. No, he has another Pokemon in his hands. Also, fast forward just fight a bit. Because we all know I'm paralyzed, it's gonna make it pretty bad for me. Yeah, anyway. No, it's not your sand trash. I think you're sand true, either. So let's work on it. Spiral? Eh, not even close. His Pokemon is... Oh, maybe it wasn't this guy. My mistake, guys. Must be the next trainer or something. Like this trainer here. Yeah, I think it's this trainer. Yeah, here we go. Yes, yeah, Snubble. Snubble's a normal type Pokemon, but it's like, I don't know, it just looks weird before the normal type. It can evolve once, but overall it's a, pretty much an attacker. Now, great, I, I, this is weakening me why I can't do it. Oh, I had a berry on it, really? Some of these scripted fights are ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Also, I like how that, if you saw it, you guys like got his child there dressed up as a Pikachu or a Pichu or something. Oh, come on, just because I have lower speed. Oh, okay. Now, remember the fisherman? He's come to call us now. I've been spending more time with my golding and I have moved my kids. It's a bit sad, actually. Yesterday, Wild Whooper slipped away from me in front of my kid. I was feeling down about it until he shared his Pokeball with me. Haha, <laughs> it sure made my day. You call your mom sometimes, too. Actually, I heard that call in a really weird place last time I had it after I defeated the silver so I was like going on a rant and just called. <laughs> it was great. Anyway, uh, next train actually has a uh, Pokemon I do not want to use my water types again so we'll just keep going up and we'll come back to it after we go heal. I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. I mean, no one's better than me because I'm the best around. <laughs> you can't even keep me down. Training youngster Ian. He has Mankey on his team. Now, I don't know about you, but I think confusing Mankey would be easier than confusing most Pokemon. I wouldn't just snap out that quick. It's impressive. Now my attacks are not very good against fine types, but I took it out. Now we've got Diglett. Diglett being the fastest ground Pokemon besides its evolved form. And pretty nice if you want to go get one. You can usually find them in cave areas. Anyway, if you come here, you'll see two, uh, old couple. I'm the old daycare. Do you want to know about eggs? My husband and I were some players. You see? You were shocked to see find a Pokemon. How incredible could it be? Should I raise your Pokemon for you? Now, if you talk to the old man here, I believe he'll give you a Pokemon egg. I'm the daycare man. You know about eggs? I was raising my Pokemon with my wife, you see, and we were shocked to find this egg. Incredible, isn't it? Now, you can emulate this in crystal. He'll give you a free egg where you need to do anything. Now, this egg is important as it's got to be a member of my team, regardless what it's going to be. It has a chance of being a Magby, an Electric Kit, or I think it's a P. 
Pichu maybe? I'm not too sure. Also, if you see that policeman there, you can only fight him at night. So it's perfect that I'm recording this always at night. I have to do it anyway because of Poliwag. So what I'm going to do here is a little trick. If you deposit your Zubat, or if you have Zubat, if you have deposit a Pokemon that's weak, and you're not in your Pokemon Center yet, you just walk one step away, or you can just go back into it, it doesn't matter. And if you draw your Pokemon now, it'll be on full health. Also, another thing we can check up here is what um, the mum sent us. So, she sent us a super potion, that's nice of her. Oh, okay. I don't care. Nope, go away. <sighs> Hold on, guys. It's the Absol Raider. The ones are getting stalled, I just don't want to do that now. I think it's lagged the game up a bit. Yeah, I'll probably fix it back up in a minute. Hopefully. Yeah, it's coming back. Anyway, now that we've healed up my Zubat, let's go fight this train after this interruption of a rare tile, of course. Oh, okay, good thing that happened too, so I can actually switch it out. So now I've got two eggs. Yeah, you don't want to juggle land eggs too much since they do take up a spot in your inventory for your Pokemon, and it's not good to have that. You want to have more Pokemon than you want to have eggs with you, but hey. Eh. Use only three I want to use now. Now, Synthesis, it's a move that heals you. It's a grass type move, so I'm going to use a grass type Pokemon can learn it. Now, you've got Bulbasaur here, a Generation 1 starter that I started off with in green, if you remember. Not too powerful against my Zubat. And then I hop it. Let's just use Supersonic. And do what we did before. Perfect. Sweeps. Okay. As you're probably saying, I'm taking a lot of attention to my Zubat, and I have a reason for that. Oh, Drowsy. Drowsy is a psychic type Pokemon. Very good at hypnosis and stuff, that's, that's what it's built for. But, in regards to if I want it, not really. Now, like I said, you can only fight these type of trainers, police type trainers, enemy at night, so the Pokemon may be a little bit stronger than you expected. You also have to talk to them. Oh, okay. and he used a bad move. Thank you, police officer. You just made my day. Okay, last trainer here. He will be using a drowsy, I believe. Or well, cider. Close enough. Now, despite what the Pokemon uh, Pokedex says in the anime, confusing a slider will not do much. Its power, it does have psychic powers, but it's only confusion. And it's. Slider is a pure water type. People do get. People, sometimes people do get confused what type Psyduck is, I just want to set the record straight and say it is a ward type, and that is it. Even though it doesn't seem like one. And in besides, it has a bill and a rubber feet, it should be obvious. It's just pure water. I mean, Gem and Goldux has been. Anyway, with that, we're in Goldenrod, and we um we can go and fight the next gym leader now, so I might see you guys next episode. Let's go check my time, so just give me a minute.